what's up guys how's it going this is Jody here with another video it's actually a quick tip for all of you Mac users so here's a scene let's say you have a movie file on your desktop or on your OS and you want to convert that to a different frame size so it could play maybe on your iPhone iPad or maybe you want to extract the audio from that movie file or maybe you want to convert that to Apple ProRes so you could edit with Final Cut Pro 10 or Final Cut Pro 7 well before going to compressor and buying a third-party program I'm just here to tell you that your OS can help you out and it's actually really simple no need to download external softwares so let's get started so as you can tell here I have a movie file on my desktop so let's just play it back so we see what it is and as you can tell this is a 1080p video file and it's an H.264 format okay that was just a little intro for someone okay so what you want to do is you want to select your video file you want to right click and you want to scroll down all the way to the option and it says encode selected video files okay once you click on that you're gonna see a little window with a ton of options so we're going to see what's what so as you can tell we have the first menu option which is setting so if we click on this menu option we have different varieties of frame sizes and formats so if we scroll over each format there's a yellow dialog box that tells us what is that format used for so if we scroll over 720p it says choose to encode your movie for Apple TV second generation and the iPad which is pretty cool it tells you or 1080p so you could you know play it on your computer or maybe you want to extract the audio only or maybe you want to convert it to Apple ProRes and use it with Final Cut it tells you here that you your file is going to be exported as, as Apple ProRes 422 and LPCM audio so that's pretty cool so let's just select 720p okay great remember this is 1080p and if we go down to the second option it says encode for what click on it and it says greater compatibility or higher quality here's the thing if you choose higher quality chances are this video file might only play on your computer while if you choose greater compatibility this can probably be used anywhere you can upload it to YouTube, Vimeo, or share it with another user. Maybe they have a PC or a different Macintosh from a different year. So that's up to you. Also, as you can tell here, we have our format, and it says what the video format's going to be, which is 8.264, and finally, the audio, which is AAC. It's pretty cool. The resolution is going to be 1280 by 720, and the data rate will be... 5 megabits per second and the audio 256 kilobits per second with a 44.1 kilohertz channel for audio which is pretty cool and there's a really really cool option here on the bottom it says compatible with what it's compatible with the iPad iPhone 4 iPod touch fourth generation Apple TV Mac and PC that is awesome this is super wicked so if we go down to the destination here you have several options it says destination Jody helps out which is your username as you can tell we have the uh, navigation yellow tooltip it says it's in the MacBook Pro and it's in the users and it's in Jody helps out so there's a little checkbox here and it says same as source file so basically if you make that active your transcoded file will appear wherever your original data was so for example if I click on if I check this in my video file will be stored next to the one I originally had pretty cool and if you uncheck it you could choose anywhere you want so I'm just gonna click same as source file and if we go down here to the bottom it says delete source files after processing so let's say you want to delete this one immediately after the uh, this new one comes about you could just click on this and basically it will delete the original file but in this case I want to keep mine I don't want to delete it so now all you have to do is press continue and it will render in the background and as you can tell we have our file now and it's rendering and it's basically exporting the file onto the new format so this is great your OS can do this that's amazing it helps you out right from the start so this is just a little quick tip you could do so uh, let's just wait for it
Okay, great. Now it's done, so let's play it back. Look at that. That is super awesome. Done with your OS, Mac OS X line. So let's just compare the two. If I click on this one, this is 1080, as you can tell, and this one is 720. Really, really cool. Now this is ready for you to put on iTunes, so you could stream it on your iPod, so you could share it on YouTube with a great format. So that's all you have to do in order for you to transcode things on your desktop using OS X line. Really cool. Well, thank you very much for watching, and uh, make sure to watch my past two videos. I talk about how to stabilize a shot using Final Cut Pro 10 and After Effects. It's actually really easy. And also, my past video, which is color correcting, how to restore some of that image quality. So, I appreciate if you could check those out. Make sure to like this video and share it. That would be great. It will make my day. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.